Hey BookTube, how's it going? Um, this is quite exciting. I have something to actually talk about. Um, I've been looking for a way to get back into doing more BookTube videos um, and be a little bit more active in the community. And um, then, I mean, you guys saw the title of the video. I'm not, I'm not like being a mystery here. But Lizzie Faye hit me up and was talking about uh, March Mystery Madness again this year. And um, at first, I was like, I don't know, because I haven't been a very... I haven't been a very good booktuber as of late. But then, like, I was just like, that. this is exactly what I need. So, um, thank you so much for inviting me back. Um, because this is, like, something that I need to do to just get back into the swing of things. And this is just perfect. Um, so, March Mystery Madness. This is the announcement video. It's been announced. Um... It's March 1st through 31st, okay? Um, and this is the fifth year. So because it's the fifth year, um, the challenges this year are totally different than they've been. And they are um, kind of like uh, inspired by five. So um, the challenges are to read five books and or complete at least five of these prompts or come up with your own um, that has a five theme and you could double these up if you want. So read the fifth book in a series, um, read a book with five or more words in the title. Um, this one's tricky. This one took me a little bit to find. A book with a page count divisible by five. That seems like a very simple thing to do. But for some reason, that was tricky. Um, every book I was picking up was like, um, like 186 pages or um, 221 pages, and I was just like, I was getting so mad. <laughs> um, a book with the number five or fifth in the title. Um, I guess I'll come back to this when I do my TBR, but, um, I found a book that I really wanted to read for this that I haven't read before, and, um, apparently it's a hard to come by book, and when I did find a copy of it, it was over a hundred dollars, and so I'm like, screw it up. Um, but, um, a book first published in a year divisible by five, um, that wasn't as tricky as I thought it was going to be. Um, a book published in May of any year, because May's the fifth month. That one, I haven't found, but I haven't really looked for that. But that one might be tricky, too, because a lot of books, um, depending on when they were published and stuff like that, they just give a year, they don't give a month. Um I guess with newer books, that would be easier to find. Um, and since this is the fifth anniversary, the fifth anniversary gift is wood. So read a book with something made of wood on the cover. That's hysterical. Um, so this is just so much fun. Um, the other thing is, is that um, I will be doing a read-along of one of my favorites that um, fits in with the whole five thing. Um, and I will let you guys know what book that is when I do my TBR video for March Mystery Madness. And I really, really hope you guys, um, take part in it because it is a book that is sorely overlooked and it is so good. It's so much fun. Um, so down below, I'm going to have, um, the March Mystery Madness Goodreads group and the Twitter, um, and the hashtag for Instagram and all that stuff. Um, and the March Mystery Madness Goodreads group, if you're not a part of that, um, I'm not, I don't participate in things a lot. I, 
I just like lurk. And the March Mystery Madness Goodreads group seems to um, do a lot of stuff, not just in March. Like, I constantly see people um, posting in there, and it's kind of neat. Not constantly, but like through the year. Like, when you think, well, it's not March anymore. Why, why, why is anyone doing it? Um, so that's really cool. So, um, I'm going to have the hosts, um, down below as well. So, um, Troy Tao, Lizzie Faye Loves Books, um, the Goodreads moderator, um, I always say this name wrong, Disis19 Hearts, I think is how you say it, um, Cortagonist, um, Jane Catherine on books, Mom to Triplets 04, Remembered Reads, Steeped in Books, The Redhead is Reading, and Good Old Tim, World of Sleuths. So, um, all that will be down below, and the challenges will be down below. Um, this is kind of like um, me as a phoenix rising out of the ashes of... Booktube sadness to be a better booktuber. So I really hope you guys hang out with us. Um, also, if you, I'm going to be doing a lot of um, um, shocker, a lot of hard boiled detective stuff and um, crime noir ish mysteries for March Mystery Madness. So um, if you would like a book like that, um, I'm going to be sending out, um, and I'll put a picture of it up here, um, my, uh, one of my Hank Bradshaw, um, detective books, if anyone's interested, um, I'll just, um, send it to you, so you guys have something to read for March, um, and if you've already read Dead Dame Walking, um, I could send you Dead Dame on the Floor, or Dead Dame in a Trunk, um, they're just fun, pulpy, um, like old school, hard boiled detective. So, um, if you're interested in that and you want one, let me know down below. Um, and I will send you a copy of that. So, with that being said, March Mystery Madness um, starts March 1st. I think, oh, I don't have it on here. Um, I'll be doing a TBR video here, like, in the next, like, week, I think, um, that'll let you know what I'm gonna be reading and what the read-along book is. Um, I really hope you guys do the read-along, and we'll probably do it on, like, with Voxer or Discord or Slack, if I could get Slack on my phone. I need to update my phone, and I hate updating my phone, because then Apple knows that I need a new phone, and they're going to start breaking my phone. You, you guys know how it is. So anyway, BookTube, I will see you later. Bye-bye.